Hello there, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and I thank you for joining me today for part three of the continuing series on Crusader File Manager for KDE Plasma. Uh, as you know, if you've watched my part one and two video, Crusader File Manager is a Unix like operating system file manager. Uh, which has a lot of possibilities over other file managers that you might be using in Linux, such as um, Dolphin or PCMan FM or Nemo. And today we're going to look at some of the reasons why you, know, you should be using it in depth. And so uh, come join me and uh, we'll do that. And we'll be taking a look at that right after this. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the number one reason for using Crusader is the two-pane view for local and remote files. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I'm in my Perrin OS system and I'm in Crusader File Manager. We are looking at the left and right pane and I'm looking at the home directory on the left pane and the home directory on the right pane of my Perrin system here. Now the advantage of being able to see two panes in one window is I don't have to have two sessions open. Can have only one session open and I'm looking at uh, both left and right pane. Now you may be asking well you're looking at the same directory but we can switch that over to another directory and so here I can switch for instance I can go up and click this uh, folder here and select the downloads directory so now I'm looking at the downloads directory in the left pane and I go over here and click here and select pictures so I'm looking at the pictures directory in the right pane. Now the advantage we have is if I want to move a file or copy a file from say the pictures directory to the downloads directory, I don't have to do that through two panes. I can do it in one window here uh, with two panes left and right uh, and I don't have to have two sessions rather open. And so let's say if I wanted to move or copy rather the Farron OS desktop uh, image file into the downloads directory, all I have to do is come over here to the pictures uh, directory, left click and drag that to the left pane and either move or copy. I can link if I wish, but I'm going to copy. And so I'm going to say copy. And so it copied that file over into my downloads directory. So now I've got that file in two places, pictures and downloads. Let's say if I want to reverse the process and I want to take this logo uh, DuckDuckGo01 file and move it into the pictures directory. If it isn't already there, it may already be there and I don't think it is. Um, I can left click and drag that over and say copy here. And so it copied that file into the pictures directory. So I can do it either way, left or right. All right. So now at the, let's look at what we can do if we want to look uh, at moving a file or copying a file from the left pane to the right pane to a remote file system, not necessarily just a local. What I can do here is I can go back out to um, the home directory, for instance, and I can um, come up here and I can go tools and let me, let me make sure I'm on the right pane. Tools, new net connection. And let's go to my personal cloud at 192.168.1.157. It's already there. And so let me pick my username and password. And let's connect to that personal cloud here on the right pane. So now I'm looking at a local system here on the left. I'm in my downloads directory. I'm going to switch out of that and go to my pictures directory. All right. On the local file system. And on the remote file system, here's my personal cloud. And I'm going to go into the public folder. And I'm going to go to the shared pictures directory. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to take this brave web browser file on the local system. And I want to copy it up to my personal cloud uh, to the uh, public shared uh, shared pictures a directory and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag left click and drag that and drop it and copy here okay 
And so it copied that to my personal cloud immediately. All right. And so here, this is the advantage that I have uh, mentioned in my first reason for using the uh, Crusader file manager over others is that we can um, look at the local file system and the remote file system simultaneously in one window. We can move files from one to the other. I could just as easily take a file here. Uh, let's call this big wave here file. And uh, this is in the shared pictures directory of my remote system. And I want to left click and drag it down to my pictures directory of the local system. And rather than um, copying it, let's say I want to move it. So I just move it. So it removed it from here and brought it into my local system here. So it's no longer residing in the shared pictures directory of my uh, remote system. It's now residing solely on my uh, pictures directory of the local system. And so this I see as a, uh, a big reason for uh, having the two pane view for local and remote. All right. So let's uh, get out of this and go back to the local system here. If I go over here to open a new tab and click it, it brings up two tabs here and I can click the X and get out of my uh, remote system and get back to my uh, uh, local system here. So now I'm back to the local system on both panes. All right. Before I get out of this, number one reason, uh, I wanted to uh, take a look at the tabs at the bottom. So I hadn't done that yet. So we have here F2 for rename, for view, for edit, for copy, for move, make directory, and delete, terminal, and quit. Okay. I want to look at two things. I want to look at rename and I want to look at make directory. So I'm on the local system here. And uh, let's say that I'm uh, wanting to create a directory on my local system under the root, un under the uh, home directory. And I want to create a, another directory. So what I want to do here is I want to select that left pane. And I want to click make directory. And I want to make a directory called, let's say, sample. Okay, and click OK. And a folder is already there that exists with that name. Okay, so let's let's create another one. So let's create one called Experimental. All right, and let's click OK. And so that created the Experimental directory on the left pane. Uh, and since we're looking at the same directory structure here on the right pane, it popped up on the right pane as well because uh, we're still looking at that. All right, so now I have created a new directory here uh, under the uh, home directory, Dan Calloway, uh, on my Farron OS system called Experimental. Now let's say I want to rename that directory. So I have, let me select that directory and click Rename. It pops up the uh, uh, rename feature here. And let's say I want to call it Experimental two instead of experimental. All right, and then hit enter. And so it's going to rename that directory. It would do the same if I renamed a file, uh, but I'm not in where I can see a particular file right now. Um, see if I get in the home directory, go to the pictures directory, and we have a file here called Crusader. And I want to rename that file to something else. I can click that file and then hit uh, rename and uh, come over and Call that Crusader 2. All right. And so now it's Crusader 2 instead of Crusader 1. So you can rename both files and directories. So that's one of the reasons that I like to use Crusader is that I can, in one pane, look at both local and remote file systems if I want, as I showed you earlier. And I can uh, use these uh, buttons down here at the bottom uh, to do things like renaming a file or directory or making a new directory and et cetera, et cetera. If I want to, uh, for instance, uh, go back to uh, the directory where I was, let's say home directory here, and let's go to that experimental two directory. And if I want to delete that directory now, I can select that directory in the left pane, come over to delete. And do you really want to delete it? Trash it, yes I do. And so now it's gone, all right? So that's the uh, number one reason, or first reason rather, 
of why I think the two pane view uh, of or Crusader is one that we should be using for file manager is because we have that two pane view. Thank you.